happening today, a last ditch effort to spare convicted killer Markeith Lloyd the death penalty. The defense will make its final arguments in what's being called a Spencer hearing before a judge decides whether to accept the jury's recommendation of death. Mark Lehman joins us live from the Orange County Courthouse this morning. And Mark, you've learned the defense is now trying to get that hearing delayed. Yeah, and it's not the first time they've issued that request. In this latest motion, the defense says their new doctor hasn't had enough time to prepare. And they also say the Omicron surge is having an impact on the ability of this hearing to happen later today. In just hours, attorneys for convicted killer Mark Heath Lloyd are set to have their final chance to offer evidence ahead of his sentencing. They're trying to convince the judge to spare his life after a jury recommended the death penalty last month for the killing of Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton. During today's hearing, a doctor is expected to testify about Lloyd's ability to recognize his own mental illness. But now his attorneys are asking for another delay. In a motion filed yesterday, the defense said their psychologist hasn't had enough time to prepare and evaluate Lloyd. The motion also places blame on the surge in COVID cases. The defense saying lead attorney Terrence Lenement has been in close contact with people who tested positive and Lloyd hasn't been vaccinated. Just last week, the defense also asked for a delay to this hearing. We are asking for a short continuance three to four weeks. To but the judge denied that request, saying Lloyd's attorneys have had plenty of time to prepare. And so any delay in the hearing of the motion to appoint the expert uh, appears to have been the result of the defense failing to contact the court. On now, the judge last week said the defense has had five years to get things together. So it remains to be seen if the motion filed yesterday will convince her to now allow a delay. Today's hearing is set to get underway at 10 a.m. We're now reporting live in Orlando. Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.